Pam and Joe, thank you guys so much for coming out and uh, spending some time with me here today. I'd like to start off with just you guys telling me a little bit about the journey that brought you here. Addiction has been part of my life for as long as I can remember. Food, marijuana, shopping, that was the beginning parts of my addiction. And then later on in life, it turned to opiates. I didn't know how to stop. I kind of was thinking I really kind of should stop this, but I didn't know how. And I didn't know how to reach out and tell anybody, I need help because I don't know how to stop. I started using drugs when I was about 12 because I used, started using it at such a young age. I, it just went on and on and on. I just thought this was how you're supposed to live. Right on up until I met Pam. You know, we, we, we met each other and we, uh, mm -hmm. we were getting to know each other and falling in love talking and texting on the phone. So I moved to Florida and we continued to use. It actually took my mm -hmm. child getting involved and reaching out to my friends and saying, we gotta do something with my mom. I, I don't want my mom to die. I thought I was walking into a week, weekday card game with my girlfriends, and I was met with a semicircle of probably about 12, 15 people. I was furious. I was not gonna do this. I was gonna tell them all where they could put it with their threats, I didn't care. But before the whole intervention really got underway, my son, approached me and just looked at me and said, Mom, please do this. And I could not look at my child and tell him that he wasn't worth me giving this a shot. So before anybody did anything, I basically said, it's a wrap, I'll do it. And that's when the journey began. But before I said I would do it, I said, well, if I'm going, he's gotta go too, because he's an addict too. I was just uh, the byproduct recipient of, his, of her intervention and best thing ever. It's changed our, both our lives like a complete 180 in every way. So do you have any children? I do. Yeah. How was your relationship with them while you were using? My relationship was deteriorating and I didn't know it. You know, and I didn't want to really do anything about it. I, I, they would see me high. It was inappropriate. It's the best word for my relationship. It's kind of same question for you, Pam. You know, what was it, you know, what was it like for, for your kids? Mm -hmm. You know, seeing you in your addiction, what's it been like seeing you now in recovery? How's your relationship changed? I almost feel like I'm gonna cry to talk about this because it's probably my, the thing I regret most about my active addiction is that being a mother didn't come first and it was okay that I was high in front of my kids and that they were seeing me nod out. Um, there's so much shame that I still feel to this day because I love my children more than I love anything in the world. But the fact that my kids saw me like that and would say to me over the phone after they'd come home from college for a weekend, like, Mom, you're, you're messed up. Like, what's going on? And I would just, like, make them think they were crazy for thinking that there was something really wrong. I was just using a little bit of drugs. It wasn't a big deal. When, in fact, you know, I was killing myself. It's and almost like your roles flipped, absolutely, right? Absolutely, without a doubt. They were watching for you. It's exactly what happened. So, has that role flipped back to where, it, you know, do you feel like you're back in the parenting role? Absolutely. Are you guys still healing that relationship? Um, I think it's, I think that they've seen how much work we've both done and that we, like, we don't just want this. We, we need this, you know. I participate in life again. I'm happy. I do things. I, my kids now, I can tell that they're, they're confident again and I'm their mom again. Mm -hmm. Not the person, not the patient that they were trying to take care of they know that I'm back in control of being a positive, healthy person, and, and they know they can depend on me now. And awesome. yeah, it really feels That's amazing. Beautiful. Besides staying in recovery, you know, what do you have to look forward to? You know, what are some of you, you know, uh, where do you go from here? I guess is what I'm asking. I could just say one of the big things for me, it's not somewhere I'm going, it's somewhere I just came from, but my daughter just got married in July, and normally uh, it would be something I wouldn't even been straight for or thought about it or even been able to make it there, but it was just an amazing feeling to be able to go to my daughter's wedding and to be clean, yeah. you know, and have a clear head. It was amazing, but as far as the future, you know, stay connected to people in, in recovery and, and help help others. So Pam, same question. You know, what are you looking forward to? What are you excited for? Recovery Unplugged gave me the opportunity to 
hear the message of H&I, which is hospitals and institutions, that it's a 12-step program when they come into the actual rehab facility and, and they talk about a 12-step program. If I had never gone to Recovery Unplugged, I just wouldn't have known about that. I know that my future is helping other addicts get clean, whether it's on a professional level or just being part of a 12-step fellowship and helping a newcomer. And to be a parent to my children again and to watch them grow. And so I have a lot of amazing, amazing things that are gonna happen in my life and through my children and family and friends. And I just wanna be part of it. You know, this is, this is a really great opportunity for you guys to kind of reach a lot of people. Joe, we'll start with you. What's one thing that you would share with somebody else who, you know, thinking that they're too old to do it? Or, you know, what, what would you wanna say to somebody? You're, you're never too old for recovery, never. You've beaten yourself up long enough, and um, and there's hope. There's there's a better life. It's um, I mean, for myself, I I want to live a normal, peaceful life without having the stress of using and the wasting of money. And and I have met great people in recovery, and uh, and there's there's hope. There's no there's no need to. You don't have to keep using at any age. I'm Joe and I've been clean for six months and three weeks. And it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Pam, same, same question. You know, what would you want to share with somebody who, who's your age, who's thinking about this, scared about this, nervous about it? You know, aside from all the health problems that are eventually going to come from long drug use, like, I feel like I've been blessed. I hope that I, like, I, cut my, I cut off the drug use just before I did something major that can't be repaired. So hopefully I have a good chunk of years left that I can still enjoy my children, maybe one day enjoy grandchildren. There's so much more life and, and living it clean and, and sober and healthy is so much better than it was just being in a fog, just in a continual fog. So anybody that thinks maybe, oh, I'm too old for that, Absolutely not. I mean, if you're going to live another two weeks, live them clean and happy and crisp and clear. My name's Pam, and I've been clean for six months and three weeks. I love that because I've heard, you know, I've heard 30 year olds say, like, oh, I've already thrown my life away, right? I, I dropped out of college. So, yeah, it's a, so it's a beautiful example, not just to people who are similar to your age, but to, to younger people. That, you know, that there's still time. I love that even if you've got two weeks, like make them good. Yeah. Right? So Pam and Joe, I'd just like to thank you guys again so much for, for coming down and being so so open and sharing about your, your, your story and, and your journey and your recovery. Um, I, for one, uh, really enjoyed it and I'm uh, and, and very proud of both of you guys. Thank you and, very uh, much for having us. Yeah, Thanks. Thank you guys.